Is there any connection between the Packers' recent success on the field and improved facilities they've started using off the field? Both changes happened immediately after that disaster in Detroit. Fox 11's Ben Krumholtz went along today to capture the first public view of those changes on the east side of Lambeau Field. If you've been outside Lambeau Field the last few months, you've seen the expansion near the stadium's Oneida Nation gate. On the inside of all those new bricks are upgrades for players and coaches to enjoy. You know, this is something we've been working on, you know, really in the planning stages for uh, a couple years. As part of the team's atrium expansion, player facilities had to be moved and in the process were upgraded, like the team's cafeteria, weight room, resource area, and lounge. When I was a player, now I played you know, in the 70s and 80s, but uh, you know, I brown bag it. You know, we would, you know, I, I <laughs> and you know, so for what the players have now is, is great. Highlighting the new facilities is this area, referred to as the Crick. It stands for its purpose, conditioning, rehabilitation, and instructional center. Now one of the functions of that uh, space is to, to serve as uh, a, a facility for walkthroughs. The 35-yard turf field was designed in a way that it could be expanded to someday replace the Don Hudson Center. You know, whether it's 10 or 15 years down the road, uh, at some point it's going to need to be replaced. At the center of the facilities is a new lobby that players will enter when their new parking lot is complete. The second they walk in the door, they'll be greeted by the team's four Lombardi trophies, retired player jerseys, and other signs from the team's 13 world championships. I think not only reminds the players of uh, the great history and tradition that this organization has, but also serves as a motivating factor that you know this is you know what we want, what we're here for and what we want to win. So far, the upgrades seem to be working. And I, I would would point out we're two and zero oh since we moved into there. <laughs> I I, I'm, I don't know. I'm just I don't know if it's coincidence, but. <laughs> In Green Bay, Ben Crumholz, Fox 11 News. On our part of the $150 million atrium expansion that also includes a new ground level pro shop expected to be complete by summer, the entire project scheduled to be complete before the 2015 season.